Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles and back to the Sudoku World Puzzle Federation 2016 Round 2 Sudoku series. This is a no touch Sudoku. Now, of course, these puzzles were all created by puzzle creators from Serbia back in 2016, probably created back in 2015, to be honest, to be in the round two of 2016. Um, and this is a 25 point no touch Sudoku, which often we, these days we call anti king. Um, this was created by Zoran Tenasic, Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. I like chess Sudoku. I think when they're done badly or when they're overdone, it is a problem. Um, but the occasional chess Sudoku is a lot of fun. Um, so of course there'll be a link below to where you can try this puzzle for yourself, as well as to a uh, link to the entire World Puzzle Federation archive. But let's have a look at this one. So what are the rules? We've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition petition and then numbers placed in cells that meet diagonally at a point must be different so the reason we call it anti-king is often you would say that for example in this cell you couldn't put a six into any of these cells because a chess if this was a chess king it could move to any of those squares um don't know where this came from. It was originally called No Touch Sudoku because any cell that touches a digit cannot contain that digit. Normally, by Sudoku rules, rows and columns are eliminated. In this um, digit, in this puzzle, any di um, diagonally connecting cell cannot also contain the same digit. They're the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. I'm really tempted to start with these cells here because these have to be one, two, and four. So this is, oh, oh this is a four because I where, this is sees all the other digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is just a four and this is a one, two pair. What about here? Uh, these are one, three, and seven. Well, that can't be a one, so it's three or seven. This is one, three, seven. This is one, three, seven. Okay, not sure about that one. Okay, one in this column, however, has to be in one of those two. I've got two, three, four, five, six. So the others are seven, eight, nine. So seven is down here. And if seven is down here in this column, that's the three, and I can take three out of those. And now by normal Sudoku, that's a three. So these are one, seven, eight, nine. Well, there's no nine there. So this is seven or eight only. Four is in one of those two, but I don't know that that's what I'm looking at. Five is in one of those two, because these two fives are limiting five to those, but that five sees that one by no touch. Two is in one of those cells. Oh no, it could be there. What am I talking about? That is complete nonsense. One is not in any of those. T is it this box? Because three is not in any of those cells. Eight's not in any of those cells. Nine is in one of those three. Oh, actually, six is right here by Sudoku. I'm trying to see where the weak digits are. Nine is in one of those two cells because that nine sees all of those. One is in one of those two cells because of the one seeing those cells. So one, two, three, four, five, I can't see restriction, six, not sure, seven, or, oh, this is a seven, nine pair. Seven can't be in those, and nine can't be in those. So this is a seven, nine pair, and the seven makes that the nine and that the seven. That's very cool. So these are one, five, six, and eight. Well, six can't be there, one can't be there. So this is only five or eight. That nine seven is very cool. Seven is in one of those. Nine is not in any of those. Nine is in one of those two. Nine over here, no. Oh, eight, eight and eight. That can't be an eight, that is an eight. Which puts eight down here in one of those two. Is that a restricted cell? Three is down here because I've got to put three in this column. Four in this column is right there because four can't be in those or there. So what are these? Three, six, and nine. Well, this can't be three, six. This is a nine and this is a three, six pair. Well, that's cool. So these are one, two, three, four, five, six, one, seven, and nine. And they must contain a nine. And the nine isn't there. So that's a one, seven. And the one makes that the seven and that the one, which means this is the two and this is the one. 
So these are one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a seven. These are coming down to triples real quick. So one, these are two, five, and six. Well, there's no two there for multiple reasons. There's no six there. There's no two there by no touch. So that's the two. These are a five, six, and the five makes that the six and that the five. These are three, four, and nine. There's no three there. There's no four there by no touch. Not sure how to resolve that any further. Okay. What about this box now? The one is looking across saying that's not the one. So this is the one. These are five, eight, and nine. Well, there's no nine there. Or there, actually. So this is the nine. This is a five, eight. So what are these? Because one, two, three, four, five, two, and six. Because seven, eight, and nine are places. So these are two and six. And that two makes that the six and that the two. So these are one, five, eight for the box. So this can't be the eight. This is the eight. And this is the seven by pencil marks. This can't be an eight because of the eight in the row. And that can't be a five because of the no touch rule. These are four and six. And I'm not seeing how to resolve that yet. Okay, so this box needs a two. It's in one of those two. It needs a five, which I'm not seeing a restriction on. It needs, needs a seven in one of those two. And it needs an eight, which is in one of those. Yeah, not seeing enough of a restriction there yet. Okay, so one isn't in any of those. Two is down here somewhere, but it can't be there. So two is in one of those two. Three is not in any of those. There's probably going to be another naked single buried somewhere. Five... No, seven is up here. Okay, yeah, I'm a little... So in this row, I need to put a two. And the two is in one of those two. So they're two, three, four, and six. Well, this can't be a three or a six. Ah, right. Where's the three and the six in this row? Well, where's the three in this row? Let's ask where three is in row nine. I can't put a three there, so there's a three in the box. If I put a three here, then both of those become six. So three is in one of those two, and that three looking down says it's not there. So this is the three, this is the six. That looks across making that the four and that the six, and these are now down to pairs. One, two, two and four. which I'm not seeing how to resolve. Oh, this one, of course, made this a seven. And these are one, th no, all of them, one, three, five. Now there's no three there, there's no one there, there's no five there because of that. So no five there, I changed modes by mistake. This is the one, this is a three, five pair, and the three makes that the five and that the three. Beautiful. Okay, need a little bit more to kick this up. But I really like that logic in row nine. So up here, I need two, five, and eight. Two, five, eight. It must contain a two. But I can't put two here because of that two. I can't put two in any of those. Two is seen by that. Two is seen by that. This can't be a two because of those. So this is the two. This is the four. So all of those threes are, are seen by extant twos. And that one's seen by an extant two. That had to be the two making that a four. That's really clever. So one can't be in any of those. And one can't be there. This is the one in the column. That one sees both of those. That one sees that one. So that's the one making that the eight, that the five, that the one. So this is a triple, three, four, seven. Well, that can't be a three or a seven. That's a four. So I can take four out of both of those. These are three and seven. And the three makes that the seven and that the three. Take seven out of there. This has to be two, five, or eight, and it's not two. So it's a five, eight pair lining up with those. That's fine. 
The three takes three out of there. That's a four nine pair, making that the three. And now this is, well, the four makes this the nine. Nearly made the same mistake as I did last time. That's not the nine. That's the nine taking the pentamic place of a two. This row doesn't have its five. And these are seven and eight. And the seven looks up making that the eight and that the seven. The eight looks up saying that's not the eight. The two looks up making that the five, which makes that the eight and that the two. And the five looks across making that the eight and that the five. And the nine, of course, makes that the four. And that is how you solve the no touch Sudoku. That was 25 points. Didn't really race through it, um, but I still did an okay time, I think. I need to stop worrying about time. There's a thing about competition puzzles that makes them, it, it just sort of draws it out of you. And it, I need to really stop worrying about it. But I enjoyed the puzzle and that's what matters. And hopefully you did too. Thank you everyone for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed the series. And as always, Good luck with your solving.